In this piezoelectric analysis tutorial, we analyze warpage deformation when a voltage is applied to a piezoelectric element whose structure consists of piezoelectric elements glued together so that the polarization direction is reversed. A new project is created first. Create a new project. Click the Femtet button and select New Project. Set up the analysis space as follows. Model Unit Millimeter. Analysis Space 3D. Click OK button. The initial setting has been done. Let's create two boxes for piezoelectric material. On the Model tab, click Solid and select Box, Specify Length, on the submenu. Designate the start point. In the Parameter Input dialog box, enter start point, X0, Y0, Z0, and click Next button. Set the width. Enter width, 10, and click Next button. Set the depth. Enter depth, 2, and click Next button. Set the height. Enter height, 0.5, and click Complete button. A box for the piezoelectric material has been created. Create another box. Designate the start point. In the parameter input dialog box, enter start point, X0, Y0, Z0, and click Next button. Set the width. Enter width, 10, and click Next button. Set the depth. Enter depth, 2, and click Next button. Set the height. Enter height, negative 0.5, and click Complete button. Click Exit button in the Parameter Input dialog box and exit. Two boxes for the piezoelectric material have been created. We set the analysis conditions. On the Model tab, click Analysis Condition. The Analysis Condition setting dialog will show up. On the Solver tab, select Piezoelectric Analysis Rayleigh. Click the Piezoelectric Analysis tab. Confirm that the analysis type is Static Analysis. Click OK button and exit. We assign names to the body attributes and the material properties. Assign a name to the upper material. Highlight the upper material on the modeling window and click to select. On the right-click menu, click Body Attribute slash Material Property. In the Body Attribute slash Material Property setting dialog box. Enter Body Attribute Name, Upper. Select 06 underscore piezoelectric material on Material DB and select 000 underscore P4. Then click Edit Data button of Body Attribute. In the Edit Body Attribute Upper dialog box. Go to Direction tab. Select Vector and enter X0, Y0, Z1. And click OK button. Then click OK button in the Body Attribute slash Material Property setting dialog box and exit. The polarization is set in the positive Z direction. Assign a name to the lower material. Highlight the lower material on the modeling window and click to select. On the right click menu, click Body Attribute slash Material Property. In the Body Attribute slash Material Property setting dialog box. Enter Body Attribute Name, Lower. For Material Name, select 000 underscore P4 in pulldown. Then click Edit Data button of Body Attribute. In the Edit Body Attribute Lower dialog box. Go to Direction tab. Select Vector and enter X0, Y0, Z, negative 1 and click OK button. Then click OK button in the Body Attribute slash Material Property setting dialog box and exit. The polarization is set in the negative Z direction. The body attributes and the material properties have been set. Set the boundary conditions on the electrodes and the outer boundary. On the Model tab, click Select Face on the drop-down list at Switch Object. Let's set the boundary condition, Fix. Highlight the end face of the lower box and click to select. Also, while pressing Ctrl key, highlight the end face of the upper box and click to select. On the right-click menu, click Boundary Condition. In the Boundary Condition dialog box, 
Enter boundary condition name, fix. And click edit data. Fix the displacement in all x slash y slash z directions in the edit boundary condition dialog box. Go to the mechanical tab and set boundary condition type, displacement. Select UX, UY, UZ and confirm that. UX 0, UY 0, UZ 0 mm. And click OK button. Then click OK button to exit the boundary condition dialog box. Let's set the boundary condition, hot. Highlight the top face of the model and click to select. On the right click menu, click boundary condition. In the boundary condition dialog box, enter boundary condition name, hot. And click edit data. In the edit boundary condition dialog box, go to the electric tab. Set boundary condition type, electric wall, and set electric potential, 10 volt, and click OK button. Then click OK button to exit the boundary condition dialog box. Let's set the grounding. Highlight the bottom face of the model and click to select. On the right click menu, click boundary condition. In the boundary condition dialog box, enter boundary condition name, earth and click Edit Data. In the Edit Boundary Condition dialog box, go to the Electric tab. Set Boundary Condition Type, Electric Wall. Set Electric Potential, 0 Volt. And click OK button. Then click OK button to exit the Boundary Condition dialog box. The boundary conditions have been set. Run the measure and the solver. Set the mesh size. On the Model tab, click Analysis Condition. The Analysis Condition setting dialog box will show up. Click the Mesh tab. Deselect set the general mesh size automatically. Enter 0.5 in general mesh size. Click OK button. On the Model tab, click Run Measure slash Solver. The calculation will start. The Calculation Finished dialog box will show up when the calculation finishes. Select both fields and tables and click Show button. The result table will show up. The calculation results are available in various formats. Check the calculated values. The charge for each electrode are shown in the table. We can find that the charge is about positive 350 picocoulombs on hot electrode and about negative 350 picocoulombs on earth electrode. Closing the table, the screen will change to results window and the meshing result will show up. Let's see the displacement vectors. On the results tab, select displacement on the drop-down list at field. Click element vector. The vector diagram of displacement will show up. Next, let's take a look at the gradation contour of the displacement. On the Results tab, click Gradient Contour. The gradation contour diagram of the displacement will be shown. Let's look at the displacement outline. On the Results tab, click Displacement Outline. The displacement diagram will show up. Finally, save the project. Click the Femtet button and select Save Project as. Enter the file name and the location in the Save as dialog box and save it. Saving allows you to launch Femtet at a later date, open the project, and review the model and analysis results. That's it for the piezoelectric static analysis tutorial video. See the tutorial topics in the Femtet help for more information. Thank you for watching until the end.